I realize those aren't the most polite YouTube titles, but both projects are open source, so you can't really blame me, can you? The reason I'm popping up such videos though, is because once I was in the place that I was using all the wrong programs for video editing on Linux, and I blame the rest Linux YouTubers for promoting things like Kaden Live, that can't really deliver. Anyway, this video is exclusively made for people already working with Kaden Live, and I will do a quick guide how we can make a fade effect on Olive, so they can compare the process. So, we have these 5 clips, and if we play them, they will start rough, and so we want to apply some in and out fading to all 5. First way is to select all of them, and apply a default transition. That will add a fade in and out, and we can change the duration of course. It is a quick way but I rarely use that. Undo everything and go to second way. We again select all 5, but this time we are going to nest them. Think this as a pre-composition on After Effects, so from now on I will call it pre-comp for short. If we double click on pre-comp, we will get inside the composition that we can further edit, but I won't do this now. Instead, on main composition I will just keyframe pre-comp opacity. Starting with 0, going up to 100, stays to 100, and goes back to 0. And play our clip to make sure everything works. On my videos I do heavy use of pre-comps, and even on those small 7 minutes max demos, I work with more than 5 compositions. Anyway, so I reverted everything and I'm going to show you the third way. But this time I'm going to work inside the pre-comp. I will move my clips to the middle for your best watching experience. And I will add a white solid too so you realize the fade is happening to the bottom layer. I'm doing a simple fade transition here, but all effects apply exactly the same way. We just keyframe properties on our clips. And gosh, we don't need composition clips like Kaden Live. Anyway, so we select again all 5, and this time we are going to keyframe them exactly as we did before with our pre-comp. And all of will now add keyframes in all 5 at the same time. And this is so super because we can sync stuff among different clips pretty fast and correct. All done. The thing with Olive is that even people who work with Adobe Premiere will say wow, with some of the things on this demo. And Kaden Live users that haven't worked with other video editing programs, will be more like, what the hell just happened? Are all those for real? Now imagine we want to fade Rika in, after the titles. We just grub both keyframes and we move them. One annoying limitation is that we can't copy and paste keyframes, but Olive is getting a rewrite so such functionalities will obviously arrive. By the way these titles is for next video in a GTK theme demo, but that flat pack tip is so cool. So we are done here. I had recorded a few more things, but whatever, because I want to describe you what made me to upload this video. Okay, first I just wanted to test a few new things I fixed on Anime Voice Studio app, and you can only really test on actual production. But second and most significantly, I uploaded as a reaction to Chris Titus video. This video. Chris is the most popular Linux YouTuber right now, and he has like 1 million uploads, and yet? He is totally irrelevant from video editing. And I don't mind that, he probably didn't ever care for making intensive video editing. What I do mind, is that a channel with such popularity demonstrates things so wrongly, and it will make viewers life a hell if they follow all those stuff. I'm saying because I was there, 